you know, just again, tough loss. Um, you know, I thought, really, like I said in the post game, and you give Louisiana Tech credit, uh, we had our chances. Uh, certainly, it was, uh, uh, we knew it'd be a 60 minute game, it was, but just probably didn't, uh, you know, made too many misexecutions, you know, and got a hold on to the football and, and assignment football, offensively, defensively, special teams wise. Those little things you can't do against a good football team and be successful. So those are things we got to correct. Thought we had a lot of fight. Thought the guys played hard. Just uh, got to clean up some execution deals. What's the status on uh, Paris and Perkins? I don't talk about. Um, okay. You know that's that new blue ball. So I just stay away from it. Just Coach, you talk about the um, momentum swing when Tech get that gets that score right before half. Let me tell you something. You know, to be honest with you, I mean, should have, could have, would have, and yes, but, you know, really the score is 21 17. And we had the ball went on about the 10, 15 yard line. They hold us there, give them credit, we kick the field goal. Then we get the ball right back on a turnover, right back on the 15 again. Uh, we get another field goal, which, you know, we're able to stick it in the end zone a couple times there now instead of 27 17, it's 35 17. Then we got them third and 10 on the minus six thinking that we might get the ball back at midfield uh, with about a minute 50 to go and third and 10. And then Jamar give him credit, eludes pressure and uh, gets out and then two big throws later. It goes in, we had about a, about a five, two, three minute window there in the second quarter where we've been able to score a couple touchdowns and get the ball back on the plus side of the field. We could have been looking at a 42 to a 38 to 17 halftime advantage. Instead, it's 27 24. But again, you got to give Tech credit because they made the play, and at times we didn't make the play down in the compete zone. Uh, but again, and defensively, you know, we had a chance to get them off the field right there. But those are the little deals, but you're dead on. <coughs> that, that little three minute stretch right before the halftime was critical stretch where we just didn't take advantage of the opportunities we had. Talk about the offensive line a little bit. Like, um, maybe had some injuries up front this week at practice. Is it going to be a, a kind of work in progress? We'll, I think we'll be okay. I really do. I think, uh, again, I think we're, we're getting healthier and healthier. So we just got to uh, you know, just keep chopping the wood. We know we got a big game this week and we know Again, another tough conference opponent in Rice. Uh, team extremely well coached football team, good football team. Uh, again, they, every game took Louisiana Tech to overtime uh, two weeks ago and uh, had a nail biter last week. So uh, we understand who we're playing again. I, I mean, another tough opponent in Conference USA play. But again, I think up front offensively, we're okay health wise. They're going to get in power eye and give y'all some 22 personnel. Is that, that their look offensively? Well, they, they do give you numerous personnel groupings. They, they, they run 21, 22, 10, 11. So they're a multiple diverse football team. So again, they give you a lot to prepare for. You look at them and, and they have, you know, have won the game this season, but they've been in every game mm -hmm. they've played. No, they're no probably doubt. the best 0 7 team in the no country, doubt. wouldn't you no, say? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I mean, tough schedule, tough non-conference schedule. So again, we understand we're playing a good football team. I mean, like I said, they just took a team we got beat. So they took them to overtime. So uh, trust me, Rice has our complete and total respect, and we know we're playing a really good football team. What was Jack's mentality coming off the field there? Because he had, had you know, was he pressing a little bit more since it was Louisiana Tech? Well, I mean, that's naturally what you know everybody would say because he had a you know there a couple uh, plays. But remember. It's a team effort. It's not one guy that is is making a mistake. And sometimes it's up front. Sometimes it's receivers. Sometimes it is the quarterback. But as a team and as coaches, we all and again as coaches and as head coach, it's my mistake. But at the end of the day, you know we did, we had some misexecutions. You know, offensively. I mean, again, we got it down there, and you know, they, of course, they got one and ran it back for a touchdown. And we got down in the end zone, and we threw one in the end zone, and. Of course, we had a punt, snap, that kind of roll it. So we had some misexecutions. I'll, I always say, you know, it, I said it last week, and everybody probably thought it was coaching cliche, but, we, you know, we, we have to execute, and we have to do those things. And 
Saturday, those are things that we didn't do. And when you do that, that's what happens. So uh, again, we, we've got to be sharper this week. You, you know, you, you talk about the injuries and that's fine. Who was running back at the end of the game that was in the game this past week? Are you talking about, what, you talking about Mayberry? Mayberry. There's Mayberry, yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Good. Coach, thank you. All right, guys. Thank you. Coach, have a good one.